everyone, welcome to my channel, Kindred Souls of Brooklyn. And today, folks, we're actually in beautiful St. Armand's in Sarasota, Florida. And I'm going to be going to a place called Arcade Monsters. And what's interesting about Arcade Monsters is it's here. It's a retro arcade in the middle of a very ritzy part of Florida, which is St. Armand Circle. And at first, this is a guy from Brooklyn who opened this arcade. At first, they didn't want the arcade here because, you know, the stores are very high end. Restaurants are very high end. But what happened was after the guy opened up the arcade and after much you know to do um they realized that as people were coming through their stores and their restaurants they realized that these people had bracelets on from the arcade you know for, it's like 20 dollars there to go in and play so now of course they more welcome it but this is a beautiful place and i think it just goes to show that i don't care how much money you have i don't care how what your station is in life you can't resist space invaders you can't resist Asteroids, you can't resist great pinball games. So I want to take you on a tour of this uh, Monster Arcades. Um, arcade Monsters, actually, here in Sarasota, Florida, in St. Armand's. Enjoy. So first, a little view. I mean, if you've never been to St. Armand's, this is a wonderful place to come. It is right here uh, near Siesta Key Beach, which is the number one beach in America. Every year it gets voted. And uh, this is only a stone's throw from here. In fact, you're very close to Bird Key, which is where lead singer for ACDC, Brian Johnson lives. And I actually did a video outside of his house. They were just doing a Ferrari show over here with the Batmobile. So if you want, you look on my channel. Um, I got the old Adam West Batmobile that was here, a bunch of Ferraris. But this is St. Armand's and uh, stay tuned. I'm gonna go to uh, Arcade Monsters and show you a little bit around the arcade. Uh, of course, this is dedicated to my son, Matt. I love you, Matt. I miss you, Matt. We lost Matt at 27. We have a foundation in his honor. But uh, this one's for you, Matt. Much appreciated, Matt. I love you, and we miss you. So the arcade was actually sta started by uh, Andy Rodriguez and Adrian Ravello. And uh, there's actually another one. If you guys go to Disney World, uh, there's one in Oviedo, which is only a half hour from Walt Disney World. And that's the biggest arcade in all of Florida. But this one I'm going to right here is St. Armand Circle. And it's really nice, too. It's a little more intimate. So I hope you guys enjoy it. So come along for the ride. Monster Arcade, Arcade Monsters, here we go. Keep saying Monster Arcade, I don't know why, but it's Arcade Monsters, here we go. And here we are, there's the signpost up ahead, as Rod Sterling used to say, on John Ringling Boulevard in St. Armand Circle. Arcade Monsters is right across the street, check this out. So this is what it looks like on the outside, and I'm gonna go in, of course, I'm gonna play some games and give you guys a great tour of the famous Arcade Monsters. Ah, check this out, looks like we're still getting a little hangover from Halloween, because Halloween just passed. And uh, this guy's the bouncer here, but he's a uh, looks like a pretty scary clown. So uh, let's go in. It works by bracelet, so I'm gonna go in and get the bracelet, and we'll continue from. All right, so I got my wristband, and we're in. There's actually two floors here, so they got great Cuban food too. But I'm not gonna get any of that. Man, how Matt would have loved this. I got a new game, The Mandalorian, holy cow. So what happens is, this is the second floor, and uh, you head up this way. So we'll see what's going on on the second floor. Wow, we look at these steps. Hard to be depressed going up these steps, let me tell you. But as you can see, it's very colorful here. I feel like I just jumped into a cartoon. Look at this, they got all these, wow. Poor guy got a headache, we got a werewolf here. We still got some stuff left over from Halloween, I think, like I was saying. Wow, and this is my section up here. Look at this, you got a Godzilla game, oh my God. Beatles. And you got some more of the old classic games. Oh 
Oh my god. Big shout out to all my friends out there who love arcade games. Of course the mat. Oh my god, there's my favorite, Donkey Kong. I got the hit I gotta hit that up for a high score. I must have spent a million hours playing Donkey Kong. Mr. Stape of Marshmallow Man and Yoda. You got your ski ball. Look at this. All nostalgia. Alrighty. Wow, take it back, holy cow, Frogger. A big shout out to my friend Tim, who loves Seinfeld. This was the famous machine that uh, George Costanza actually tried to save, because he had the high score and he was going across the street and he hired all the guys. All right, folks, so here we go. My favorite video game of all time, Donkey Kong. I'm gonna try to hit this up for a high score. And uh, let's see, I think the high score on it's looking like it's about 20 million, so I'm gonna try to beat that. So here we go. So here we go, folks. That's the high score for today, 256,900. I got that. A special shout out to my best friend growing up, Patrick Esposito. I wish we had a dollar for every dollar we put into this machine, but I did us proud. Look at this, check this out, Donkey Kong. Love it. More cool games here. You got Galaga, Galaxian, Popeye. Oh my God, look at this. It's an original Pong game. Holy cow. Oh wow, famous air hockey. Looks like you got the Buffalo Sabres and the uh, Pittsburgh Penguins in there. Centipede. Marble Mania. Look at this, Paperboy, wow. You got Tron. Oh my God. This place is heaven. You got cruising. For all you soccer guys out there, you got this. Special shout out to Matt, Guitar Hero. Matt used to love coming, putting on a clinic at Guitar Hero. He would actually make believe that he, he would tell people he actually designed the game, and then he would tell them that he didn't. But he was such a good guitar player, he maxed the game out. And I just love Matt, miss him. But special tribute to Matt. Love you, Matt. So I'm here with my friend from Area 51. He says I did a really great job on Donkey Kong. Got the high score for today. But even though I got the high score on Donkey Kong and I came to, came to Arcade Monsters and had an awesome time here, he says that he can't bring me to Area 51 and he can't bring me to wherever on the planet that he comes from. But I don't know, I tried, but wow. So I hope you guys enjoyed that trip here to Arcade Monsters. It's a wonderful place to come. They've even got this little outdoor area for parents and people who don't really, are not really into the video games. So if you're a parent or someone not into it, you can come here and hang out. They got great food, they got Cuban food. And uh, you can come say hi to my friend here and uh, see if he'll take you to Area 51. Didn't work for me. So you guys take care of yourself. I love you guys, miss you Matt. And uh, see you guys in the next video. Take care now, bye bye. So we're here with Tegan. She works here for Arcade Monsters. How you doing? I'm good. I'm It's fabulous here. You got all the retro games, you got all the yeah. new games too. We do a lot of them. Um, I was in Japan for a while, so I got to play a lot of the Japanese games that we have. So getting to work here has been very nice. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. And what are your hours here? Um, we're 11 a.m. to 2 a.m. every night, so we're the latest thing in St. Armand's Circle that's open. So you can play games all day until 2 a.m. Oh, that's fabulous. Thank you, Tegan. Thank you. Thank Appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Appreciate you. Have you. Have Take day. care. Bye. I want to thank every, uh, everybody here at Arcade Monsters for being so hospitable. Really appreciate it, let me film. I want to thank Tegan for interviewing with me. And uh, it's a wonderful place, folks. You gotta come down to Arcade Monsters. It is definitely worth the trip. It's a wonderful place to be. And uh, if you wanna go retro, they've got a lot of retro games like I showed you. They've got a lot of the new Stern pinball games, which only one company left making pinballs, and that's Stern. And uh, you got Godzilla in there, you got Beatles, you got all the latest ones. And uh, I just know my son Matt would've loved this. Waffles would've loved it. And um, every time I come to a place like this, I, you know, actually, I haven't been to a place this for about two years. It's tough to walk in here, but I wanted to do a video and, you know, we do the foundation and it's, um, I just love Matt. I, I miss him. And um, I just want to wish everybody happy holidays out there and hug your loved ones, folks. You never know. And um, I'm just so happy I got a chance to do so many of these things with Matt. I miss him, but 
I know he's guardian angel on my shoulder and uh, I know we're gonna see him again when that time comes and you know he's always with me constantly with me so uh, folks have a great time I love you thanks for tuning in if you like the video please subscribe and uh, drop me a comment and until the next video this is Al signing off from Arcade Monsters in St. Armand Circle in Sarasota Florida actually just only half a mile from Brian Johnson's house who sings for ACDC, but that's another story, another video. Take care, folks. Bye-bye.